In Google Analytics 4, we saw the purchase funnel report. Now we are going to replicate it here. For that, I'm going to start by adding a new page. I go to page, new page. In my new page, I want to add a date range control that shows by default the last month. And I want to insert a column chart that shows the purchase events. This one shows all the events. And what I need to do is to create a filter to add a filter that contains only the purchase panels event. I go to add a filter and because I have created it already, I can just select it. And now my chart shows a to cart purchase and view item, which are the events, the purchase panel events. What I need to do is also to change the metric to total users. And now I can see users that viewed an item, users that added to cart, and users that purchased. If I go to style, I'm going to show data labels so I can see the exact number of users. If I go to back to setup, one thing I want to show quickly is in my filter, you can see that the condition is that include even name that the regular expression matches with view item or add to cart or purchase. I used this regular expression, this vertical bar, which means or. If I, if I had not used this one, this regular expression, I would have had to add three different conditions, which are include even name, contains view item, the same contains add to cart, and the same contains purchase. Because I'm using regular expressions, I could add the condition just in one line, which saved me a lot of time. In this case, it didn't save me that much time, but in other examples, yeah, it could save you a lot of time. I'm going to click on save again, go back to my purchase panel, and here again, I can see users that, added, that viewed an item, that added to cart, and then purchased. But what I'm missing here are the percentages. Those percentages, those users, the percentage of users that added to cart that came from viewed item and those that purchased that came from adding to cart. To see the percentages, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a scorecard. I'm going to add a scorecard where I can see total users and I'm going to add a filter, which is great filter which is view item. I want to see only those users that even name equal view item. Then I'm gonna duplicate this scorecard and I'm gonna create the same but for those users that add to cart. So I remove this filter in the new scorecard, add a new filter, create filter and I'm going to call it add to cart and it includes event name that equal add to cart save and now I have users that added to cart and I'm going to duplicate it again and create another scorecard for those users that purchase, I remove the filter. I need to create a new one that is purchase and include even name equal purchase. Save. And now I can see total users that viewed an item, added to cart, and purchase. Now to see the percentages. I need to blend these two scorecards. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the quick one first. So I click on the two scorecards where I have view item and the other one I have add to cart. I do right click and I select blend data. And what it does, it creates a new scorecard 
with a blended data source. In the data source, now you can see blended data source. If I click on the, on the pencil here, which allows me to edit the data source, I can see that this data source has two tables. One table are total users that viewed an item. It has the filter view item. And the other table are total users that added to cart. I can change the name of these metrics. So these metrics, I can see them on the right and they show total users table one in total users table two. I'm gonna change the name to view item users, the first one, and the second one to add, add to cart users. And now it'll be easier to work with them because now they have proper names like view item users and add to cart users instead of total users table one and total users table two. I could add other tables. I could add up to five tables. We are just going to have two for now. And what is very important is how you join the tables. In this case, we have cross join. Cross join doesn't require a join condition. I don't need to have a field that joins the two tables. And I will show later on examples with left outer, right outer, inner, and full outer, because these other type of joins, they, they require a join condition. They will require a field that joins the tables. In this case, to see the funnel, I can leave it with cross join. And what this cross join does is that returns every possible combination of rows from the left and right tables. I click on save. I'm gonna change the name of my data source and call it purchase funnel. I click on save again. I close and I go back to my scorecard with my blended data source. If I click on the metric, I could add the metric from table one, which is view item users, the metric from table two, or I could create a new field, a calculated metric. This one that we see in blue is a calculated metric. So if I add a field, then I can see that here is where I got the formula. But if I go back to my metric and instead of adding a field, I go to the fx which means function next to my function and i click on it i can see the formula of the custom of the custom metric that was created when i blended the two scorecards in this case what it did is divided view item users by add to cart what i want to do is to divide add to cart users by view item users because i want the percentage of users that added to cart from those that viewed an item. And I'm gonna cut some view item users and put it at the end, divided by and some view item users. So I have some add to cart users divided by some item users. I'm gonna change the name to percentage users that add to cart. In data type, I'm going to leave percentage, percent, it could be a numeric number, but in this case, it's a percentage. Display format, it could be percent with zero, one, or two decimals. I'll choose one, and I'm just going to apply. And now I can see that 18.7% of my users that added to cart came from view item. So 18.7% of users that viewed item also added to cart. That's one way of blend, of creating a blended data source. Another way is to do it from here, like blended data source. I'm going to edit this one. And I can join another table. For that, I add the data source, Google Merge Shop. Dimensions, I'm not going to add any. We are working with a cross join. So the join is going to be again cross join. 
save. My metric is gonna be total users. And I'm going to add the filter, the purchase filter, which will show only users that made a purchase. I need to uh, change the name of my metric. So instead of total users, table three, this will be purchasers. And now I can save. Another way to do this, I edited the data source from here, but I can also go to resource, manage blend. I can edit, or I could add a new blend. I'm not gonna add a new, bl new blend for now. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the scorecard. I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to change the data source to the blended data purchase funnel. You can see it's giving me an error. And that's because I have a filter in the scorecard, which is purchase. So I need to remove it. Now it's not showing me an error. Now it's showing me one of the metrics in my purchase funnel, blended data source. I can change the metric. I could choose view item users, add to cart users or purchasers or I could create a new field. I'm gonna create a new field because I can see that I want to see the percentage of users that buy. My data type will be percentage. I want to see one decimal. And my formula will be the sum of those that purchase, purchasers, divided by the addition of those that add to cart. If I click on apply, now I can see the percentage that of users that added to cart that also purchased. If I want to see the drop off rate, what I could do is to duplicate these two charts. I'm going to duplicate. And in the formula, I could add a one minus before, and then the rest have it between brackets. If I apply, now that's showing me the drop of rate. I change the name to drop of rate. Apply. And then I can do the same here. I change the formula. I add one minus at the beginning and the rest, I will have it between brackets and change the name again to drop off rate. I click on apply and now I can see again the drop off rate. I could organize these scorecards a bit more I select these two, right click, and I can align them vertically at the top, and the same with these two. Align vertically, top, and the same with these three. They are aligned, they seem to be, but let's, write, let's see by clicking align vertically, top, they were aligned anyway. And now my scorecards are a bit more organized. In addition to see this, I could also create a new chart where I can see the different items and see the purchase funnel by item. For that, I'm gonna insert a table. And 
and my table is gonna show first I need to change the data source to the GA4 data source in my dimension I want to show item name and my metrics are gonna be view items that were viewed also items added to cart and items purchased and now I have a table with purchase panels metrics like items viewed, items added to cart and item purchased by item name. If in this table I enable cross filtering which was enabled already and then I go to view my report I can use the table as a filter for my purchase panel. So if I click on the first item name What it does is to filter my data at the top and now I can see the continuation rate from view item to add to cart and from add to cart to purchase and it's only for those that viewed added to cart and purchased this item here. Instead of this item I can filter by others and instead of having this dimension which is item name I could have others like like marketing channel, session marketing channel, or first user channel, or any other session, sorry, or many other dimensions. The important thing here is that this type of report, even though I'm using two different data sources, one is blended and one is not, this chart here allows me to filter these other reports, these other data at the top.